It's been just over a year since I first covered Indie Velo, the new indoor cycling platform on my channel, and Indie Velo has just been acquired by Training Peaks. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down everything that happened with the acquisition and what this means for Zwift. Let's dive into the video. Alright, so first off, a little bit of background about Indie Velo and how this app came to be. This app was started by George Gilbert, who is who used to work at Zwift as somebody who worked on the Zada project, which is how Zwift made sure that nobody was really cheating in the upper elite races. And he went off and started on his own thing. And one of the key things about Indie Velo is that it is free and it has a lot of the high-end racing features that Zwift doesn't have that the community has been requesting for a long time. So that includes things like dual recording and much better um, cheating protocols in order to detect who is cheating during races so that you have a lot more of a fair race um, from a hardware standpoint and that's going to make things a lot more enjoyable for the racing experience on Indie Velo. Indie Velo also takes into account a lot of what the community has requested on Zwift so you're going to notice that a lot of the features on Indie Velo are things that the community has requested and there's actually releases that go out pretty much every week that have new additions, new changes, new fixes and the development speed is a lot quicker and craziest thing about this is that it's literally been George developing this entire app on his own for the last year and a half. Alright, so moving on to more details about the acquisition and how this will be changing things on Indievelo. First of all, it's going to be a complete rebranding. It's now under Training Peaks. It's going to be called Training Peaks Virtual, and you're going to see that rebranding happening all throughout the app in the next update that has just gone out. And riders who currently ride on Indievelo will be able to continue riding on Indievelo for free until March 2025. Yes, it will be under a paywall starting after March 2025 or maybe a few months later than that. Um, that is one big downside to this acquisition. Um, however, this is going to allow Indievelo to grow a lot better and it's going to allow for a lot better development on Indievelo side because um, George will be getting a whole team of developers in order to help him work on this project and that's going to help things um, develop even quicker than they already are and have a lot more refined features and the development team will really be able to address a lot of the community's requests from the development standpoint. And after that, it will be part of Training Peaks Premium. So that's going to be um, Training Peaks um, paid subscription model. And that's going to be $20 a month or $125 per year. So around $12.5 if you're paying annually. And the thing about this is that a lot of riders already subscribe to Training Peaks as their main source of workouts for, um, from the coaches and stuff like that. So for a lot of Zwifters, they're still getting this for free. And a lot of people have already been using Indie Velo and Training Peaks together. That integration will continue and along with the integration between Training Peaks and Zwift for the foreseeable future. Now, if you currently have an Indie Velo account, you can continue using that for a little bit, but then you'll eventually need to switch on to a Training Peaks account. So you're going to need to create a Training Peaks account in order to be able to log on to Indie Velo. And that is now um, into effect immediately with the new update. So you're going to see that you're going to have the option between logging in with Training Peaks, logging in with Indie Velo. Now, the thing is, since Indievelo is no longer a free option, the only free option left for indoor cycling is really going to be my whoosh, which has pretty much unlimited finances from the government, so I don't really see them charging anytime soon. And this is both a good and bad thing for riders who really want a... Um, who really want a free option it's going to be a solid option it's going to have all the features you really need but it comes with supporting a government that a lot of people don't necessarily agree with their values and that is one downside to my whoosh and that's going to be drawing a lot of users away from supporting um, the my whoosh community and supporting the my whoosh platform in general now moving on to what this means for Zwift. Indievelo has been developing most of Zwift's features and you're going to see a lot of resemblances that are very similar between MyWoosh and Zwift and over the last year they've accumulated a ton of features and a lot of the features actually now um, rival if not beat Zwift's features so that's going to be that's a really great thing for Indievelo but it's going to also mean that Zwift does have some catching up to do in terms of the, refining their features and making sure that they have the full functionality that Indievelo does have and now that Indievelo has been opened up to all of these other Training Peaks users that didn't even know Indievelo existed is going to be huge for Indievelo and really help Indievelo grow and become a lot larger than its current roughly 40,000 member count. And 
I'd say that um, Zwift is still a more refined app, but and it suits the gamified users a lot more, and also suits the um, community-oriented users a lot more. But Indievelo is going to have those nitty-gritty features that a lot of competitive Zwifters and or cyclists in general are going to be looking for, like dual recording and cheating protocols. In the end, I think that a lot of Training Peaks users are going to realize that Indievelo does exist and is a free option for them who are those people who are already paying for Training Peaks that is. And they're going to realize that they no longer need to be paying double the price in order to have Training Peaks and Zwift subscriptions at the same time. And they're just going to revert to just using Indievelo because it works so seamlessly with Training Peaks now. And that's just going to be another thing that's going to draw a lot of Zwifters to Indievelo or a lot of cyclists in general to Indievelo. And it's going to help their platform really grow to its full potential I think and while it still is going to take a lot of time for Indievelo to catch up to Zwift I think it is still possible and this partnership between Indievelo and Training Peaks is really going to help that grow and accelerate a lot quicker than it was prior to this um, acquisition. In the end, in a niche like indoor cycling, competition is always good and it's going to help keep a lot of these apps accountable and make sure that they continue to develop and satisfy the user's needs. And I think this is overall going to be a good thing for both Zwift and Indievelo. If you enjoyed this video or have any comments about this acquisition, please let me know in the comment section below. And with that, thank you all for watching and ride on.